Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 50 Semi-Final Live. We've got Tempest Saw with his Dark Elves versus Cyber Knight with his Chaos. And in the booth with me is Fymir and Kor. Hello! Hello everybody, we are here to watch another Blood Bowl game and I expect a lot of blood being spilled today because this Chaos team is absolutely horrible. But the Elves maybe have luck, maybe have the dice in they need. And anyway, this game is dedicated to our viewers from Libya in North Africa, which capital is Tripoli, and the national flower is the pomegranate blossom, and the national dish is the couscous. Mm. And a country that has been seen a lot of unfortunate events recently, so I wish only the best for the good people of Libya and the blood ball players that are there, if there are any. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, and uh, so Tempestal has taken a, a Eldral Sidewinder, he's taken a Wizard, and he's taken two Mercenary Linemen, which he hasn't started on the LOS. So his plan must have been put everything into winning the first half. You know, Wizard, Eldril, all the Death Players, try everything to get the counter score, and then these are just going to be like meat shields after he's already ahead. But it's an interesting strategy. Obviously, the Chaos team is absolutely horrifying. Um, just unbelievably good, but the, the, this perfect defense helps, doesn't it? The uh, offset LOS means that he, he escapes the worst hits off the LOS. Very nice. Really nice. And yes, he could have moved a, moved a bit around. Could have put the kicker on the LOS. Yeah, he could have. Done. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be yeah. That'd be I, I wonder if he. I wonder if he just didn't think about what it means yeah. that he already kicked the ball. Yeah, not many show. people knows. Not many people. Not that many people knows. You know that they are in a perfect defense. You can put the kicker back in the in the LOS without any problem. Mm. <laughs> That's a good point, Sat. <laughs> <laughs> we have defenseless player here, that's very nice. Will he palm or will he retreat? You know, he retreats. I think that's fair is enough, this... right? To consolidate. This, this is like the. Uh, not consolidation, what's the word? Uh, stabilization, right? This is the yeah. We're in the stabilization phase, just don't lose it. You can't win the game on turn one, but you can lose it. Wait, I thought there was a. Uh... Way to hit Eldril with a claw bomber. I'm uh, sure Eldril will uh, do something that may, means he gets killed later. <laughs> oh, uh, one hypnotic gaze. That's a uh, that is a special skill. One for game. Once per game, he can roll hypnotic gaze. One. Yeah. yeah once. Yeah. <laughs> and he's going with the good ball carrier. No ball bitch or anything here. Yes. Which is a good point, right? I, I, it's it's what I did versus Rick, you know. If you remember that when I had my strength five high elf versus Rick, mm -hmm. I just carried on a bolt bait, and then obviously he ended up in need. If he was double, he was a double one away from. He would have just sacked the ball and scored without needing to use the wizard. So, like, I guess you know, having to make the making them have to use the wizard. There's some value in that, isn't there? Yeah, and he doesn't really have any backup. If you had somebody else that was like, oh, right, ball carrier, you might use that. Yeah. But so, he doesn't really have anything else, does he? No, no, who's, just this rookie is all he could have. Yes, who's going to be able, you know, to shack the ball? I mean, there is the tackler with IG5, but the Bisman is a strength four, so... Well, it's the wizard. Uh, the, the wizard. wizard. That's, wizard, the wizard that's the wizard, the but wizard. if he was in another piece carrying the ball, the IG5 yeah, could, yeah. Try, could have much easier. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. So I, I don't, I don't hate, I don't hate carrying on the on the super yeah. double player, even though it does leave you open to the. Wizard. It's basically, would that cake also mean that there was not many options? Mm. You needed somebody that could go down there, reliable alone. Yes. Also, if you use the ball, you better kill that guy, because you know he's going to be very angry. You know, <laughs> he's going to get you. You know, he can recover the ball himself. <laughs> But if it was a regular piece, a regular piece man carrying the uh, ball, the play is, is clear. Hypnotic gaze, put one guard, blitz with the IG5. 
I'm not sure this was a great use of Eldril. He's a, he must be planning to swarm everyone through and try to make a line because he can run around the one corner each. Is he going to surf if, this guy, do you think? No, I think he's just hitting him and putting all floats all the elves on the left and right through and hope he can stop the bulk air from connecting to the rest of the team. Mm. That's my bad. That's the only thing, reason I can see for putting Eldril there. Well, and doing there, that. Is an, no. there is another reason that the way Eldril gets, gets hit by Gressel, so less chances of dying. No. I think you should surf him. I think you should surf him, right? Because how does he win this game? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's only a 1 in 9 to surf him. I, I think you fucking go for it. I think he should have gone for the surf there. I, I don't. Yeah, I, I don't mind it. Mind it either. I, I don't know. I don't. I, I'm in some matchup. I'm not averse doing four plus serves. Yeah. Like that. Just if it's a good player, that one was probably not worth four plus. But three plus with a reroll. Yeah, it's pretty, um, it's pretty. It's pretty good odds to get it served. And like, okay, it is the literal worst player on the team. But like, you need all the help you can get. Oh God, he's just. He's just he's just basing everything. Yeah, so he's basing off and hoping he stops them from forming a cage, and then he needs to take the ball, and he probably needs to take it without I'm using uh, base, base, the base. wizard. This won't fail. I'm on the road. Well, this is the kind of basing that even Thomas T would think that's a little too much, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> just wait till he sidesteps into danger. Um, if you do this, you like up. Uh, I probably yeah. If you do this, you kind of need to do it whole like with everything. Otherwise, it's pointless. Yes. You are basically gambling everything on. Um. And he's got a lot of blood steps. So like, it's not terrible, is it? No, it might work. Having I mean, two really good players on that uh, claw pumping thing is maybe a bit scary, but. <laughs> I mean, I think that witch is gonna get hit with uh, the tackler bomber. Easy but, hit, no but risk. It's of five, but it's a five plus still to get down. And if you don't go down, then those side steps are going to be really annoying. Yeah, yeah. It's, oh, it's, he's not putting the guard there. I thought it was going to put the guard. I mean, I mean the club bomber that is basing the the witch can just, you know, put the. Yeah, that guard player. He needs to uh, create a place to actually put the ball. Yes, yeah. I would. Have, I think I would have hit this first just to see if the power right. Just fish for the power there first. See what happens. I guess this one can power, can't he? Yeah. But I guess he can't really make the ball. Could make a cage with him, but I guess he could have blitzed off to come back. I don't know. It's it's tricky, isn't it? Tricky actually. It's with all the side stemming blood. Yeah, yeah I, th I think I would have done this hit first just to see if I powered him, and then you know. Let's see what happened after that. It is Thomas yeah. T saying that there is one guy not based. Weak uh, <laughs> play. Yeah, weak source. <laughs> See, like, and he managed to force him to use one of his uh, tackle mind blows to just defending the ball. Yeah. That's uh Let's mean Eldred might survive this. Yeah, unbelievable. He putting him next to the Gressel. So, 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 so I, yes. This could be like a wizard next turn. It could be a wizard, yeah. What's this? And he's not looking at dodge. He's not lost anything on it. No, he hasn't. No, this is a great turn from Tempest Soul. Yeah, yep. He's at dodge. Now you'd better roll a power, mate. And he does. Ooh. Ooh. But that... Oh, it must be an armor break. It, uh... It's not. <laughs> Didn't follow either. I thought that was a easy follow. Mm. Ooh, this, is, uh, this is getting spicy now. Very spicy. Will we see the bolt? Or does Tempesty think he can uh, make it without? I don't think you should try. I, I really don't. Like, I think that's maximum greed to go for this without the bolt. 
Oh, 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 the dirty oh. player dodge. But now Eldril is uh, well, he has dodge anyway. But now Eldril is completely free, so. Where's Bolt, the guard? Bolt, hypnotic gaze. Guns Everything is open. Yeah. Yeah, two guards. Mm. Is he gonna foul? I guess is the question. No, Henning, there wasn't any blitz at all. This is the chaos drive. Yes, the dark elves are being ultra aggressive. Yeah, there's a perfect defense which which saved him a little bit on turn one. He's made oh. the foul. Send and it's on. not a. Oh. Oh, are you, are you sure? Are you sure you're bolting now? Because now you, that's an easy two dies. I still think I bolt, man. Wait, I, I hope think, if I've done it before. I, this is literally when Sindane won won CCL. He yeah. played me with my high L's, and I had a really good ball sack, and I didn't, I didn't bolt, and then I, I got the ball sack and didn't recover or something. Then next turn he got the ball back and like killed half my team, and I'm like, yeah, why did I is, just use the ball? Yeah, you right. If you bolt him, then you have the hypnogaze also to help making a case yes. because you should be able to stall this for some turns as well. Yeah. I mean, bolt the ag five is next to the ball. There is the witch too. And the IG5 yeah. and the other side of the are not in tackle. You sold me, we're building and then hopefully we get in position where we can uh, stall it. Yeah, I mean, That's the perfect it. scatter. Yeah, unbelievable, because two scatters were bad, right? Like, the, uh, these were pretty bad getting it on the tentacles. Though you obviously yeah. would have had the chance of uh, eldering him. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so two were really bad. And that's about the best one you could have got. And it obviously rolled a two plus and. Uh, and it stunned him, so yeah, great, great whiz. You know, the case works, so there is not even need to release that piece yeah. to recover the ball and run away. Poof, poof, poof. No, whiz means you could try to blitz. Is that somebody? The, the claw pommel. Yep, Tracking so you can uh, take the claw pommel with uh, the, the guy laying down. Mm. Got the right angle to hit. I like that. Oh, oh. Cast him! Oh my oh. god! <laughs> Comedy mega! Straight in the dapple. Instant apple. Yeah. Instant apple. Flip me. And he could even pick it up. Um, he's, he's a bit slow. Just one of the witches gets it. Oh, we got five. Yeah, I will, I will take the witch up. off. Yeah, one, two. Oh, he's not moving I mean, anymore! What? Oh, I don't um, know he that. kind of is. I guess that he. He kind of screening off from the. Um, if he goes down to the left, to that corner, he is kind of trying to take. Help that uh, thing staying away. Ooh. Roll, instant reroll. No, oh, he's double one. Oh, it's it's caught. Oh, oh, him not it moving was, was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> My god, what a master plan. What a play. Yeah, besides uh, standing a guy nearby. Let me. Just Singolo like loving it. Singolo <laughs> loving this. <laughs> it's, uh, of course, so Singolo uh, did uh, beat uh, Mankin's uh, wood elf in the end. Uh, yeah, yeah, just m murdered him. Murdered him to bits. Murder club. Mm. I'll imagine, who do you think Singolo is cheering for? Definitely Tempest. the Dark Elves. Definitely. Yeah. 100%. They don't want, the don't want all the claw. Ah. No, no. Can he get three dice on it? No, surely not. It doesn't He's only down. needs two. But the ball carrier is still down. Mm. Oh, ho, 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 oh my ho. god. Oh well, oh well. Everything goes back to course. <laughs> it, oh, I'm, not sure. I'm not sure with the Dark Elf team. I, I put that one. Mm, I especially wouldn't. with it not, not working yet. No, just because the chance is 50% 50 50 not working. Yeah, that's And he does I mean, have yeah. better, and he does definitely have better players. Yeah. yeah that's I think why that I would prefer to get the, another apple instead of the one of the Mercs. You know, you use the, if you have two apples, you use the apple there. Mm. 100%. Okay, guys, bring the buckets and the mob. <laughs> Looks like it's gonna be another bloodbath. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Eldruth doesn't get powered. Outrageous. There must be a uh, bug in the game. <laughs> it's a special skill of Eldruth. If anyone else dies, he doesn't die that time. <laughs> <laughs> When he's in the pitch, he guarantees a, an injury. His <laughs> or someone else on his own team. <laughs> no. Will he put the reroll in? Yep. Fails? Oh my god. Very, still very, very dangerous for Cyber Knight. This, isn't it? Very dangerous. I still say he should have surfed this guy, right? Eight times out of nine, this guy would have been off the pitch. And, you know, things looking even better for Tempersaw. Like, I, I do think that was one of the times when, you know, you should go for that kind of move. Okay, so now you try to Ibn gaze. I don't know, I don't Even, know what you're trying to do here. Even though it's the warrior, and then you have a 3 plus with a witch dodge, if not you can leap with a witch. I guess you want to blitz the claw from her, right? You want to blitz this tackle from her. Yeah, he's already made yeah. the wrestler, so he hasn't blitzed him. Which, this is a 1D at the moment, because there's two guards, so this doesn't look very good. Oh, it could be a dodge blitz him, and then get the scatter. Okay. Okay. Frenzy trap himself. Sounds good. Why not? It's not Blood Bowl if you don't. Oh no, he didn't. Okay. Oh god. I was being. I was being an idiot. I was Learn being an count, idiot. Uh, Jimmy. Numbers are important. To count. This marvelous nap. Teach me that. Yeah. I was like, he's got the guard, and he's blitzing into another guard. That'll be fine. But of course, he moves away from this guard. <laughs> I mean, this, he's getting in the way of himself here, though, isn't he? I thought he'd have scattered it. Did he scatter it? Yes. And it went there. Yes. So now Eldril can... Uh, scatter the second time, though. Dodge, even no gaze. Or just straight hit. Or him. just yes, straight hit. I prefer the... If he was going to even no gaze the Beastman, I prefer the dodge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he's gonna, yeah, he should have dodged if he was gonna hit another piece. Oh, the, the thing is, if he makes the four plus, he's the second assist straight away ah, as well. Yeah, it's a true. bit greedy. It's yeah. greedy, but it's yeah. greedy as hell. But it, I can see why. Yeah, like I think you've um, got to forgive people green, being greedy in this situation. But it's really bad failing. Yeah. I mean, now picking up the ball is a three plus leap, three plus pick up, two plus dodge. Yeah. With a reroll. Mm -hmm. And you have the these dodge two pieces and the, the, the two other two pieces that can move and make a screen. And I think that's the plan. Yep. Oh, wait. No, it's not. Who's going to pick up the ball? This is, she's going to pass it to him. Going all around yeah. the houses. I think I prefer the leap. I away. prefer the leap. Uh... Oh. Hey! <laughs> and now Eldril dies. <laughs> the bolt bait has got the ball finally. I mean, you hit Eldril and then you hand off to the ball carrier. Yeah, that I seems quite reasonable. Cage. Yeah, you can get a cage up here. Pretty pretty easy cage up here with a ball and a strength four bodger. Yeah, this is looking really, really yeah, there is easy. also the strength five uh, cage warrior is around too to help to make the cage. So yeah. Yep, yeah, super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Okay, he's doing that. I'm really surprised that Tempest Hall didn't go for the leap. I mean, he's playing a high risk uh, blood ball here, basing and all that. So. Three plus, three plus, with a reroll, mm. and then the two plus with a reroll. Sounds really well. Mm. Yeah, like he's taken it right. He so he wants to. 
he yes, wants it on he, the screen. He, he has spent all his movement, you know, trying oh. to reset. Oh. Didn't oh, stun that guy up. Oh and El oh, there you go. <laughs> As I said, you know. Every time. Every time. The 1D was really bad though, right? It was super greedy, wasn't it? Like, I guess he's going to blitz with a claw bomber, but like, this guy could have come and make it too. He's not even handing off. No, that might be... That's a... That's a choice. Mm. Yeah, it's not a great choice, I think. No, but I'm it's, it's a choice. Yeah, it's a for Bludger and... Because right now there is... Not many Dark Elves left in the pitch anyway, so... A strength for Bludge seems like a good deal. Mm. Hello? Diced. Obviously, Silver Knight uh, didn't know that he can make any cast after casting Eldril. <laughs> that's it, that's your cast for the turn. But that's not protecting anything. Isn't it one up? 21 one up? Uh, but that's still not protecting anything. You can still run around it. Yeah. A witch elf can come in from the top. Well, and you can, block, you can block the tackle away. And you can... Uh, you can try to dodge... There's so many options. Yeah, I think, I think this guy should have stood here. Well, actually, I think he should have handed off the strength for Rajfall, but... <laughs> Because that just uh, itself shuts down almost everything, right? Yeah, Tender Soul had. I'd say quite a lot of uh, options now. Mm. And got the leap, and can even just leap in. There's a free player now to mm. mark the golden top. This, the sidestepper can be the assist. I mean, there is a uh, dark piece uh, free right now, so. Yeah, but it's, yeah, but it's hard to get it into the ball, right? One, two, three, mm, two, three, four. Five, five, six. Five, no, you six, can, but do you need to? I, I prefer just marking with that piece and going for the sack with the wet shelf and using the sidestep of. You're not getting the no, ball yeah. away from there yeah. anyway. And just use the sidestep as uh, the assist from. Yeah, yeah that's fair. Oh, the, the IG5 is down the pitch. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, well, the, it can come in. If the ball is free, we can try that in the end. Ah, that's the, that's the play, suck the ball, pick up, pass, score. Easy. Oh, Classic yeah. elf uh, play. <laughs> well, it's from, it looks like yeah, Temper Soul has uh, decided the same as I had. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this was maybe better, right? Just oh no, he's got he's got well he's got ten speed, you know, seventy five percent in, then you've got a cancelling and got guarding, haven't you? Oh, he's not even he's not even leaping, he's just doing oh, the dodge But it works. But um I think uh, right, you you might have tried the guard dodge just to try it yeah. to see what, what happens. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> But I think with this few elves, you're okay, like doing a opening your turn with seventy five percent chance rate because you're already your back's already at the wall. So I think taking a few more risks is is quite acceptable. You can get there with the edge five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI. Lob it to the witch elf. Score. Or hand off to this witch elf, uh, then she just gets a sneak two deed. But not by tackle. So that could be a play, right? Dodge in, double GFI, hand off to the witch elf. Don't reroll any of it. So we could dodge this witch elf first. Yeah, get the other witch elf all around the bowl and then try. I like that. I like that a lot. But 
Yeah, she could even just base these two, yeah. So then, then yeah, so the tackle is yeah, so the tackle is definitely not coming. Yeah, yeah, really nice. Ooh. Ooh. Gets, the, gets the first one. Gets the second. Hand off to the witch. Yes, really nice. I'll be checked if uh, Tembassy is in chat. I <laughs> know how to play it in the semis of Chalice. <laughs> no, it's not funny. It's just a funny timing thing, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Some people, some people might think it's true, though. So gotta, gotta make it clear oh, yeah. that it isn't true. <laughs> No, it's just because it, it's he's taking his time with his fair to make sure to look out the different options. Yep. So. Instant full power. Bit unlucky. Um, indeed, yes, Christopher. Yep, yep. Well, it's a pretty, yeah. pretty, really nice move as well, isn't it? And uh, yeah, not really jam toss. No, it's it's kind of interesting, right? It's been kind of interesting. The. Uh, the Dark Elves got a deep kick and a perfect defense and have been quite high pressure, used their wizard, um, got a few players killed, um, but have a bench. So, you know, they, they might they might still get the stop here. They might get the stop. There's a blood step blitzer and a rookie. An Eldril has already been cast. <laughs> the customary Eldril does something, gets hit once, dies. Yeah, the only interesting thing is he actually tried to do something twice before dying. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I mean, he, he nearly won the game, right? He, he, made, he made that pick up at 2+, plus and then the Witch Elf rolled a double one, so... Can't blame Eldril for that. Yeah. I mean, this is still very, very dangerous for Cyber, isn't it? And he needs to try to pick it up. Yep. And he gets it. And he's still not great, uh, but I guess he's in kind of a guard. Yeah, he's in a guard eye cage. Really nice. But there is tackle standing on him, so, and there is some guard human. Not human. There's some dark elf guards around, so if you can get. Somehow manage. Yeah, you could try to get him through, but he'd have. To, he's got to roll away from tents, and then three, the three, two, 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 and he's got to get him in as well. That's the one on top. That's a bit easier to. That's still not getting you a one, is it? No, you need. You'll need to um, try to hit um, one of the guard on the side. And he's got stand firm, so. And the other one is the plus move. As, uh, and the angle scale. ship as well, right? So it's pretty. I guess he could. But then you're not hitting with tackle, so. Cool. So yeah, it's a, he's in a bit of a pickle. I have to pick up working here. Uh... It's crazy huge. Yep. Yeah, and all this is just for a one D as well, Jesus. Yeah, maybe you don't go for it. Oh. Or is it a chain? Is this is this some kind of sexy chain action? No. We could have tried. Tried to cheat, you could have tried to one dice to chain the guard down, but that's not helping you much. No. It will have mean you could probably potentially get both guard in. Yeah, maybe. Mm. Four, five, six. I think he's just gonna switch gears to just try to defend, right? Like, it's gonna be hard, but. That's gonna be rough out there. How the hell do you sack it? At least if you've got things in front, then he's got to like you know defend the ball a bit, and he's only got three turns, so maybe you can maybe you can stop it by like screening with your four players. I just leave the side steppers on him.
maybe I will probably try to get a that yeah get it up in front. Mm. Well, I don't hate that. Do you do you leave him to to eat the uh, tackle? Yeah. Hello, Flux Streamer. Hello, Red Hair. Hello, anyone I haven't said hello to. Oh, he doesn't just sit in there to get punched, and he rolls a one on his dodge. I think he managed to roll a one on the first of all the dodges, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, he did. He rolled a lot of ones this turn. A lot of them had dodge that so got away with it, but uh, the last one didn't. Nice full pow. Yeah, he just about have time. If he gets the witch elf down, he could get up through the middle and get in range. Yeah. Or like getting a good position from getting in range. Yeah, that's why I kind of like just keeping this guy to eat the hit, right? Because. Yeah. But then I guess you'll need a push to free this guy. But at least it's one other, one other player. And no matter where he goes, he does need uh, the power. He needs yeah. the fire plus. There we go. Guess Straight in. in. Choose. <laughs> oh, but he can sidestep here and stop it if he doesn't die. Like, not stop it, but oh, blocks it a bit. Yeah, I like that. Mm. But he didn't go there. <laughs> and he got removed anyway. <laughs> but I, I don't mind trying it, because you know he's going to try removing it anyway yeah so if he'd gone there it'd be one two three four five six and it would have made him do a gfi whereas now he can get across and not have to gfi so i'm looking a bit grim yeah Pretty grim. From looking amazing as well, right? It looked for sure like he was going to get the turnover at one point, and even and then pretty likely in another point, and then somewhat likely a third time. So he, he's he's had some real good chances, but now it looks lost for sure. Well, the drive, not the game, still. Game's still on, but the drive looks lost. But don't say it's over. Actually, five could have punted backwards. That's an interesting point. He was in a tackle zone or two. I think he was in two, so it might be. Yeah, I like. I must admit, I like this because he couldn't hit the tackle. He needed a six. Yeah. On four dice, which is not unlikely. Unlikely, and afterward, it was still a pick up in two tackle zones. So that's enough. Yeah, like, you got, yeah, had the bonus. There was a lot of thing. There was a lot of thing that could have gone wrong. I, I think. The odds of a uh, fumbling was so much worse than than anything else. Yeah. Yeah, so I tend I to not like. Right. Yeah, I tend to not like uh, punting for that reason. Basically, like normally, like normally, the boring conservative play is going to be surprisingly good, isn't it? And uh, but yeah, on the other hand. So you can force him to go through sidesteppers again. Mm. Can he get in range without? One, two, three, four, five, six. He just tags the uh, tags the tent, please. Yeah, I guess at least that means sense is not stopping somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> I I was about to say I think you you blitz to the other side instead. Mm. 
and then if if it fails, you could have run in a distance, and this side would go for it. Yeah. Well, but this is a little bit all eggs in one basket, and now you need to re-roll the head. The problem is, it's a geophyte hit with a claw pommer, right, if you go that way. Or I guess, oh, you've got to move somebody else first before you blitz with him. Yeah, but you could move the back side of the one of the... At the Chaos Warrior, the other one will still be somewhere around the same space. Yeah, fair enough, yeah. Plus then you get he, this guy as well. But he took, the, he took the high reward line and got his 5 plus. Yeah. Which I... Yeah. I liked him not to getting that to see what he will be doing then. Yeah. Now it's a bit boring. <laughs> yeah. Don't say it's over. <laughs> no, no. Let's help. We'll try something. Yeah. You know, Senegal, know. Senegal might score three goals against England as well. You never know. <laughs> Don't say it's over. But no, it's really not over with elves. Yeah, three to get to overtime though, sadder. Three to just have England scoring again. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? On the interesting turns, having it live is great, but on the boring turns, it's really not great. Because, <laughs> yeah, this is a little bit. But, I mean, there might be some kind of hit on the ball here. In Melmo. You can one, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. So, and he's got leap. So, you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. You can get one deal on the ball. Wouldn't be this guy. Yeah, this guy could hit. Ah. So you could get two assists and then one D with the edge five. That's a myth. So much work to just get one dash. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's still, it's still, I still have to take it, right? Yeah. No? no. Apparently not. Just again, rely on blood steppers and hope it's enough. That doesn't seem to be working very well for him. No. <laughs> but I mean, it could have done. He's been a little bit unlucky, right, with the, uh, the power in the side steppers. Yeah. Does he take the both down here and then use his real for one turn? No. Uh -huh. Wow. Um, so we got a free pile on. <laughs> Can you get three dice on that 85? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's a bit of... Go for it. Is there anybody in scoring range? No. Oh. There I is now. <laughs> yeah, but now it doesn't matter. I think I've been greeting, I've been greeting and go, made a go for it and taking the three dice on the 85 with yeah. the, the claw bomber. I, I would definitely not do that. <laughs> I think I've been. But, uh, it's a 1 in 36 for a three dice, so yeah, I think it's... I've picked, I've picked up. Because if you kill that 85 and the apple is gone, if that 85 is out, that Dark Hill team is so... There is not a chance in hell I would attempt that. Personally. No, but, but you've been burned so many times, but... <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. The 2D. I wouldn't like a 2D on him. Never mind a bloody 1D. You know. Like, you know, 1 in 6 to fail. Like, spooky. Spooky. Could a re-roll? Yeah, it's, well, it's a 1 in 6, though, isn't it? Like, 
Oof. No thanks. 1 in 12.96 are risky enough for me. <laughs> Never mind a 1 in 36. Has he got 3 no. stand firm? Yeah, he does. So at least at least, at least least Tempest Soul kept his reroll for this one turn. I guess uh, it could be a riot. So. <laughs> I wonder if he should have set up a bit further forward in case of the riot. What yeah, about... I'll... yeah. In Arion, it was a more developed darker team, but this is the semi-final. <laughs> <laughs> it, it wasn't. It wasn't very. To be fair, I mean, it was. It wasn't very developed. It. it you know, it did. It did. You know, kind of min max, right? It was a good base. To, it was a great base to build from, right? Because he's got loads of blood step, and then he just didn't put in the extra games to get loads of guard and stats and stuff in it. But uh, it, it could have been a great darker team, but it was only ever about eighteen hundred or something. Um, Whereas Cyber, I mean, it looks particularly bad against Cybers because Cybers is 2,000 odd and the best team in the competition, so that makes it look worse. But uh... Yeah, there's a bit of guard, and I can see B team value down, but with, and we've got the 85, and the guard, if you don't get smashed out, it's a pretty nice close to play, play up team value with. Brilliant, he gets to punch something. Can't hit the tentacles very no, he probably just can't hit the tentacles. And maybe he can, maybe he can hit one of the stand firmers and then hit the tentacles if he powers him. The Chaos team is alright, it took a bit of a beating early on. But it's still pretty that's still some pretty good pieces. If you look at the pieces in the bench on the bench as well. Not too scary chaos. I mean, yeah, you, you're insane in Aryan. You're insane. This team is is incredible. Two full tackle claw bombers, strength four, Rage four, Bludger, unbelievable warriors. Like this chaos team is absolutely incredible. And it's way, cool. way, way better than the than the chaos team that uh, had you beat in normal time, but for a one turn and then winning the toss for all the time. <laughs> Just quietly. Well, yes, there are better chaos teams in the world, but for Chalice, this is an impressive team. It's really good, yeah. It's like, this is maybe the second best chaos team I've seen on Blood Bowl 2, after my, uh, after my uh, <laughs> Rebel team. My Rebel team, is I still think, is the best chaos team I've ever seen. It um, doesn't, it is Rebel, so it doesn't count. Exactly, yeah. I'm not bitter at all in our end, but, uh, you know. Thought I'd mention it. <laughs> Just thought I'd I'm not bitter at all. But it's, it was quite good, wasn't it? I, I should have won that game. That's all. I wouldn't have won the final though, because I wouldn't have diced. I wouldn't have diced the, the pants off the old ripster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. I don't know if Nick's team was better than this. This team's really flipping good. I can't really remember Nick's team. Nick's got Nick. I don't think Nick had as good a ball carry, did he? That ball carrier makes this a, a bit obscene. Nick's no didn't go to send out in the second round or the third round? No, Nick got the final, didn't he? Did he? Oh, the semi. At least the semi, yeah. Yeah, at least the semi, yeah. Because he got, he got killed, didn't he? He got, he got beaten up in one of the games and when he yeah, was like, one of the fuck games you and you bang your ways. <laughs> I can't remember his team at the end of the day. I can remember, like, that's why I know my team was better, because I remember my team. This is a really, really good team, though. I mean, it was better as well. Like, it's got worse, right? It had a, it had another one of these guys die. So, it's much better with another block guard tackle goal. Like, it looked incredible at the start of the tournament. No, no, and it was the one where you diced the pants off a Muldripster. So that's why I wasn't, I wasn't too upset that I lost, because I knew I was going to lose to Muldripster. And then you like pitch cleared him and beat him like 4 0 or something. <laughs> <laughs> I would have not have pitch cleared Muldripster. I had like a chaos team and I would have been pitch cleared by Muldripster. 6 1, Jesus. Uh, people were talking about that that morning, this morning, uh, Nick's channel. Mm. About the debate which team should take Nick, the Wood Elves team, which is amazing, or the High Elves team, which is also amazing. Mm. My arguments for the high elf team is the high, uh, 
is still a forlorn uh, race. This is going to be one of the last CCLs, and that's the kind of thing people will remember. Mm. I think my argument is you should keep playing the high elf because the high elf team yes. could get better. Yeah. And if they yeah. die, he's still got the wood elves. Yes, yeah. I mean, the, 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 the high elf team is the Higas, uh, still uh, needs a little work here and there. The blitzers. Yeah, they could they could do with a couple of more skills and some of the good positionals. I'd, I'd still take the high elves. I wouldn't even play them more. I'd just take the high elves. To be honest. Uh, uh, nah. <laughs> Opinions on New Blood Bowl three seasons. Unfortunately, Game of Vision, I'm not one of the VIPs, so I don't have as good opinions on it as some people. But um, you don't have access to the you know true prices. Yeah, some pe some people are like favoured by uh, cyanide, and they they are they get some information. But I and it's not Jimmy Fantastic. It's not me. They don't like me because I tell the truth. Sorry. <laughs> Employ somebody with eyes, cyanide. There's yes. no excuse for how ugly their, their menus are. Like, the colours, it's actually insane. It's actually fucking insane, man. I, like, it's unbelievable the colours they've used. <laughs> I guess a perfect defence the other way is uh, fair. Yeah. Everything balanced in the end. And yes, Jimmy, yeah, yeah. you say the truth, but you say, like, uh, as I told you, like, a uh, sailor's drunken feast. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, people in the know are saying positive things, but then they would, yeah, that's a good point, so, who knows. Like, I've always said it suits a season pass. But of course, I would have called it a season ticket because that's a perfect thing for a Blood Bowl sporting thing, especially when the teams, the box teams, are named after famous teams, aren't they? So, for example, the box set for, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> the Underworld is the Underworld Creepers. So when they, when they released Underworld, they could have the Underworld Creepers season ticket. Works perfectly, right? Fantastic. No, it's a blood pass. Terrible name. <laughs> <laughs> it might sound better in France. <laughs> Le Blood Pass. <laughs> Le Blood Pass. <laughs> to be fair, everything sounds better in French. <laughs> Just by disagree. default. I highly disagree. <laughs> Compared to English. Come on. It also sounds better in Spanish. That's, I'm also with you there. Everything also sounds better in Spanish. That's true. Oh, good. Then okay. Then okay. <laughs> it's everything sounds better than bloody English. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe not Danish because that sounds pretty but damn bad. Oh Swedish. Hugel flugel hugel. That's uh, a bit of Spanish for you. Uh, Swedish for you, sorry. Hugel flugel bugel. We want to see the Dhaka. Pray for the overtime. <laughs> Dadle can translate for you. <laughs> or in Aryan. <laughs> Mbappé in uh, Spanish well it's Mbappé it's our last name so we don't change it that would sound great for you guys I, I kind of like people swearing in, sw in Swedish as well I wonder if it's the same for Swedish guys about us Danish I do like Swedish swearing <laughs> You like Swedish wang? <laughs> and meanwhile, we have a withdrawn offense of Dakar. <laughs> Glorious Dakar. He's not even picking the ball up. Taking no, the Dakar no, to new heights. He needs to make sure he has a reroll to get that <laughs> guy home, I guess. Yeah. He doesn't want to use a reroll on the pickup, and he didn't want that guard piece uh, called, I guess. Yeah, brilliant. That's, I'm loving that. I'm loving this. This is excellent. Next level daiquiring. <laughs> but it's counted a bit by the perfect defense, hasn't it? That's allowed. That's allowed cyber to men's LOS. So it's uh, yeah, it's got but more he, instant he, pressure. Ceiling he, edge to stand firm. Very nice. Yeah, but he needs to spend time because his best source is scoring late, right, and hope for getting the ball in overtime. Mm. 
Okay, does, he's does, not standing edge with Stun Fern. Okay. I don't think its embassy has anything else to do than hope this works. No, true. true. Well, I'm gonna feed the cat meanwhile this uh, keeps going on. <laughs> feed the pony. Yep, and Arian, I mean, what else can you do, right? Like, what else can yeah, you do? It's good strap. But it's basically with that, again, with that ball carrier, if it was a worse ball carrier, you could have tried scoring and see if you could uh, pop the ball, but I don't think that's good with that. No. With that abomination. No, of a ball all, carrier. The work, all the work that he had to do to get like a 1D on him. <laughs> it was ridiculous, wasn't it? So, yeah, it's. Yeah, I think it's. Yeah, he's got to try and stop this out somehow. But even the withdrawal looks pretty horrible, horrible. Yeah. <laughs> with, with the chaos being this far up already. Yeah, that was the problem. The perfect defense really hurt him. But this is interesting. He hasn't got the side. He hasn't got the stand firm on the edge. I'd be tempted to just feed a feed a lineman into this stand firm, right? And yeah. Uh, Get and then just I've, hold him. I don't even mind uh, blitzing. Feeding back in and getting a play up on the other side of the chaos, yeah. so you have something to work with. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> That's a hot <laughs> take, in our in. <laughs> Predicting the team that's six hundred TV up um, and one nil ahead. <laughs> <laughs> predicting with a wizard already gone and, and Eldred already cast <laughs> yep I think most of us are predicting a chaos win I don't like this though mm. it's a bit weird his start is so aggressive I think he's almost I guess he got the lever mm. I'm still pretty sure I will try to dodge the player through just to force the chaos to think in yeah. more angles. Yeah, I quite like that idea. Normally I don't, but here I would probably try it. Because he needs to stretch the chaos in some some way. Mm. But I think I would have. I think I would have just fed this guy a rookie and. Uh, yeah. And also that. The corner later. Yeah. I'm gonna take one of all the journey elves. Yeah. Yeah, one of your many journey elves. Because he was like tackable from the corner, wasn't he? So. Yeah. But obviously it would have alerted. It would have alerted Cyber Knight to his horrendous error of not having him on the edge, but never mind. <laughs> so it might have drawn the blitz to free him, but then at least he's blitzing a journeyman, isn't he? I guess the, what's going to happen is uh, we're going to see uh, Tempest try to jump over with the to leave at one point and just run all, she can, all that witch elf can. Yes, yeah, yeah, he has got it on the leaper, yep. Yeah, and genius. then the uh, AG5 is go going to try to come after. Yep. Yep. And now he's got the edge. Good. Yeah. But with the lever, that if that is the plan, then we care a little. Then what what Temis is going to care about is trying to get the tackle out of position. Yep. And he does have his only wrestler exposed, which I really don't like. Because and he's getting. No, he's hitting the other one. It's really nice being able to wrestle somebody, isn't it? Like, that makes the 1D so much better when you've got to wrestle. Yeah. Like, I would have liked 1Ding this guy, but then he's even got a guard, so 2Ding this guy with wrestle is really nice, isn't it? It's still really nice just blitzing this guy, to be fair. All right, I'm back. Hello, Fabian. He's got to tighten this up, hasn't he? This is looking very weak right now. Got one beast man left to do it. One beast man he left. Hasn't. Well, I'm coming through here. Full show. Oh, unfortunately, he's got the ball on the on the leaper. 
right? But what he could do is he could put the guard in here and he could leap and then like blitz and then chain the other guy out, right? And then make a gaping hole. That would be sick. Or I guess you could just do with the H5. Yeah, you can just do X5. I don't think that's gonna happen though. No, but it's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> Put guard there and there. And blitz this. And then like 3 2. Or no, use the edge to blitz him and 2 2 through, and then he can block him. And then he's got a gaping hole for the other people, but he hasn't got that many people to come through after. But... No. I think it's more likely he's going to spend a turn more. But let's see. He is thinking. Hmm. Very tricky. Oh, the guards in there. Okay, so you can block one and blitz the other one. Yeah, I didn't. For some reason, I didn't. I just thought that the ball carrier had uh, had bloody guards, but it's the only thing the ball carrier is missing. Yeah, he pushed him in the wrong square though, right? He should have pushed him here and then blitzed yeah. him to there. Yeah, for some reason now he has blocked his way or he's making, you know... Oh, you just, need, you just need to oh, roll the yeah, power sure, more. Sure. Oh, yeah, sure, yeah. No, I just oh, yeah, this one, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can go both ways now, yeah. yeah. And that's better because it's a tackle piece, yeah. so both tackle down. Yeah. Four. That's a bit of a... Four, really nice. It's still a... It's still a bit short on numbers. Yeah. But yeah, this, but this guy had to, to be. be amazing, guys. But it wouldn't have done enough, right? If this guy was here, this this thing would have still gone gone through. But I think this guy had to be here. Maybe you he had go to be to the, here. Do you go to the towards the sideline? Because your eighty-five could do three plus two plus two plus. Just to get away from everyone. Yeah. Or you can also. Whoa. Then you'd go for both of them. Mm. He can probably just come around. Yeah, uh, now he can because he did the go for it with yeah. the first one. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've, I've yeah, just thought 3 plus 2 plus with the dot skill have been better mm, than maybe. go for it. But he, st he still needs. Uh, one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You can do the two go-throats yeah, with the kick yeah. fast, yeah. then you screen off every more. Yeah. Oh! oh. Tragedy! So you can, you can re-roll this one, though, and, and then just do the loner yeah. dodge. Yeah, and then do the loner dodge. Yeah, because now the, the key player is tagged anyway. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on! Embassy, you can't. Don't run out of time! Ah. Come Don't on, time! <laughs> oh! Oof. Last guy can stay there, uh, yeah. Whew. Just! Just! Pretty nice turn. Yeah, that seemed a bit. Uh... Defending the ball is super easy. <laughs> God, I love that sound effect. <laughs> easy. <laughs> Jeez, it was a good turn though. That wasn't it from Tempest Soul. Really good turn. I mean, he spotted the weakness, which was this guy, which, you know, Cyrus should have, like, I wouldn't have been scared of this. I, I think this guy should have been stood there and that would have tidied it all up. Um, but... Bit of a mistake, and now this is going to be a real struggle to stop him scoring, I think. But if he yeah, can get himself a two-turn chance, then he's got a shot, hasn't he? If he gets himself a three-turn chance, he's got a pretty decent shot. So he's just got to keep his head in the game and try to pressure this yeah. as much as he can. Yeah, Tempest is definitely need to do as much as possible to delay it. 
even I don't even hate being a bit risky if needed. Yeah. Just go get a turn more. Yeah. I mean this whole game he's had to play a bit risky I think because he's so far behind, yeah, isn't he? I mean, I would have even, like, I never go for an 8 out of 9 surf, and I would have totally gone for that 8, nine, eight out of 9 surf on a rookie beastman on turn 1. Like, even though it's a rookie beastman, I would have totally gone for that. Because I would have just, you know, felt like I was in so much shit. <laughs> I think that, don't you put that, that lineman who run back, don't you put him so he cannot, Tempest, he cannot get two dice on that tackle piece? Yes. Easy. Yeah. Yeah, I would have definitely had that's, next day, That seemed like the, seems like the obvious uh, is uh, trying to blitz him and run back. Yeah, I guess this gives you like more field coverage, arguably, but like, yeah, I would have, I would have definitely gone next to him. Oh, he was going, going for the dodge in. Can't re-roll, surely. No, because what do he do if, even if the ball is free? So now, we are uphill block him, then Lona dodge blitz 1D him, and then surf <laughs> No. Easy. Just no. <laughs> we don't care. But Could surf this one, quality, though. Quality content. <laughs> Could surf this one. And then that gives you that gives you these guys through, right? Yeah, I still, I like, I still, I think I'll keep my original plan. I've seen if I can uh, blitz the tackle piece that's steepest. Because mm. it, it's the biggest threat for me scoring. Well, I mean, I guess first you punch this guy because it's a 2D. And you've got the guard there and you just punch him because that's a really good punch to take. I guess you could try and knock this guy over and go to the middle here. Then this guy can come through. And then you maybe could blitz this guy and come through. There's, lot, there's lots of options. Yeah, if you and if you want to hit that tackle with the gathers on, you move your tackle rest, your got dots wrestle piece up first. Yes, yeah, yeah. Lots of options here. Question: If you... hello, man, kiss meat throttle. Thank you very much for the raid. Oh, hello, man, kiss. Oh, and Nolly, Nolly earlier as well. Sorry, I was I was muted when you read it. Thank you, Nolly. There might be too many options. Yeah, yeah. This is maybe paralysis analysis paralysis here. Oh, he's just he's just bezzing away. I mean, that's reasonable. If in doubt, run the fuck away. Ooh. Oh, sorry. I mean, he can tag the. He needs. <laughs> Surely. <laughs> What's blitz? Oh, you can blitz that one to get more players. I st I'm still like hitting the one that's further down, but hey ho. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so. the, the one that right now has a strike uh, to the on the ball with a uh, tackle. Yeah. 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 Potentially that one. <laughs> there is a chance, yes. Yep. But you know, there's a chance he can just make all these dodges and everything. And, yeah. You know, he could have a dodge with a set stepper, put him a stack, and then try to go with a 2D with a loner. Because even if he just say, uh, or, or could you uh, oh, 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 do, do that and. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Shaktigors is KO'd. And now the IG5 has a straightforward path. That's one, two, three, three, three two, four, two. Five. Yeah. But again, if you sack the ball. Oh, and mm. ball carrier could actually get. No, he cannot if he starts the ball. Three plus two plus with the guard. Surely. Yeah. Oh yeah, tag him. Okay, I think I would tag the other one because he can just dodge anyway, right? 
Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I've gone for the longer back. Mm. On the problem with going that way, obviously, you're in range of tentacles. It's like, mm. I kind of don't mind running a bit away from that shit head. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, he's a bit of a bastard. Just, it's just annoying again. It just makes everything more unpredictable. Mm. It was a very interesting first half, man, kids. The wizard came in, Eldril came in, and uh, Tempest was really close to going 1 0 up. But, um, in the yes, end... he managed to do the whole thing, but always the last part, the last roll. Just came failing. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's. Yeah, if you play those first turns again five times, you probably score at least three of them. Mm. Yes, but it was like the erection of a pensioner. Looks like it's going to work, but in the end, the last part is the part that doesn't work. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, I think that's a very clear example that anyone can understand in the world. <laughs> yeah. Is he going to do the three-three-two? I mean, surely he hasn't. He doesn't no. have to. He's not doing it. No, he's just surprised. He didn't blitz and get himself back, though, right? Because now this is looking like a bit of an easier stall for. Temper soul, maybe? But we are all in on trying to hurt. We're piling on a loner. Mm. And so this is very this as well. Yeah, oh, definitely. But this is really dangerous for Cyber now, isn't it? Because if this goes to overtime, 50 50, he almost loses. Whew. It's possible to fail a two turner. I'm just saying. It is possible, but you know, like, 50 is like, it's real, it's really, you're really likely to lose in overtime, aren't you? Is the chaos, like, it's really close to 50 50. Um, no, PC. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. No, not when it's here, right? Not when it's here and it's it's giving them all the 2 plus out instead of a 3 it's... 3 2, the 4, a 4 3 2 through tackle instead of just giving them 2 2s. No, that, that pylon was. Completely fucking terrible. This definitely gives him a turn extra for free. Yeah, that was absolutely fucking terrible. Especially because he didn't even work. Yeah, and it lets this guy. Yeah, the guy he can tag the tentacles and him as well, right? The same move with this guy now as well. I can only say I've I've seen somebody win chalice with piling on always. Mode yeah. On. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But, you know, it tends to be people that know how to roll dice, you know, that have mastered the movement of the wrist when they throw the dice. Yep. Pile on every time unless it loses you the game. And this could lose you the game. <laughs> mm, I wonder who will blitz uh, Tempesu this time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, I think actually personally I'll prefer being more to the middle. Yeah. It just makes it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I wanted to which of more central. Yeah. And I'll probably also have moved some of all the downed elves back. Yes. Oh, get some cars. Well, <sighs> nice blitz. Stand these up first, you dickhead. <laughs> and run them back. Mm. You might need them later for. for I don't know, know for something. Them. Unless, like, this guy could GFI to tag the claw plumber. I've... Uh, oh. Stand them up! <laughs> yes, look, streamer, this is the only game. This is the second semi final. How do you not stand him up and move him across to there? How do you not stand these guys up? What the hell? 
The guy's a madman. I think Tempestul forgot about them. No, he didn't. Literally, how do you not dodge this guy to here? Like that's uh, it's all it's, okay. It's GFI, but like, come on, man. He's he's claw bombing a good guard instead of this shithead. And Whoa. the guard at the bottom, and the two pieces with you know just lying there. This is the only game tonight. Yep, Flux Streamer. Hello, Skuro. It's the second to last game. What's I owe? Yes, the next one is the final. Whatever they decide to play it. Yes. <coughs> Hopefully not next Saturday. <laughs> I'll, I'll DM them and ask them to not play next Saturday. <laughs> what are you doing next Saturday? I'm out on the town in Leeds. Oh, dears. I'm hitting wait, the karaoke wait, wait, bars wait, wait, again. Wait, wait. Yep. Are you living in town? What's yeah. happening? What's the deal? Oh, no, you have to go to any mean. trial or anything like that. Have you been summoned to court? <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Oh, it's a wedding. Is you out with a table leg and, and those guys? Yep, I think so. Oh, maybe not, actually. I don't know. Shit, I shouldn't have said anything. Um, no, <laughs> no, I'm not. Ah. No. It's a... It's a Oh, uh, I guess what it is. Yeah, no, you are going. You are going to a special service at charge to pray <laughs> for the kids with knees, and then you're gonna help with training uh, guide dogs. Fantastic work, Jimmy. Yeah. Don't don't forget to donate do, donate blood. You know. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. <laughs> I mean that. Uh, that uh, guard uh, dust piece has been hammered all game, and it's yeah. still there. Yeah. So that's definitely a turn more in this. Okay. Imagine if all these players were up and, and further back. Yes. Uh, yes. Yep, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. And, and the all end of being out anyway. Yeah, that that piling on was a, two, three, was four, a potential five. game losing pile on, wasn't it? Really was. Are we are we scoring? No, we're just gonna blitz the ball carry. But we put everyone up. You can just do a two plus. Yeah. Okay. Else can't be powered. Don't don't worry about it. Don't worry okay. about it, Kefa. Okay. <laughs> uh, um, I don't see any problem there. <laughs> it's um. You can dodge to here, maybe, right? You can dodge to here. It's maybe not what I had done. No, you can dodge to here. With well, the the edge fire can dodge to here, right? And then that's safe. Yeah. No, he doesn't. And here, scores giving three times. The chaos. Not what what he's, been, he's been like, oh, Cyber's been gifting him that stall with keep piling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's the gift that keeps piling. <laughs> <laughs> it's the gift that keeps piling. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, there you go. Cyber with three turns to win it. There is still a good bunch of elves on the pitch. Yeah, still so... a full 11. Lots of blood step. This is not going to be easy for uh, Chaos, but they have a very good chance. Especially, yeah. I mean, they have the IG4 strength huh. for a uh, ball carrier, which, you know, mm -hmm. can always go the Pringles <laughs> boy and potato. <laughs> but uh, that uh, Chaos wire is not, not having it. <laughs> it's... It's not coming back. Mm. And yep, to be fair, scoring scoring on turn six is better than scoring on turn seven, isn't it? Now Tempestall will have a chance to counter score. Yeah, maybe. yeah. Yeah, three is tight. It's, this is going to be touch and go. Like two, obviously, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you would bet on Cyber Knight not making it. But three is very touch and go with this. Uh, with this Strength four, edge four. Just wait and see uh, Tempesty uh, rolling blitz now. I was thinking that, that this is this is the time of the blitz, <laughs> or the or the or the rock on the blow on the ball carrier, you know, into that. <laughs> he's uh, he's been looking at the dice lock. 
That's why it's uh, spending analyzing time. Analyzing the algorithm, checking the time, you know, the UTC time every second, you know, to be able to uh, decipher the randomizer. <laughs> Five idiots. Five idiots is so good. I'm so I'm so happy with five idiots. <laughs> I know it's random, but uh, I just I just saw it on, on Discord. Good, good. good. Some, oh, yes. Five idiots is the Dungeons and Dragons games that the uh, Jimmy had in his channel with uh, Paul Force as the dungeon master and a collection of uh, streamers and creatures of the internet. <laughs> That you can see in his channel and his problem, maybe his YouTube channel at some point. Yep. It's glorious. So if you are into Dungeons and Dragons, the role-playing game, no the role-playing thingy. <laughs> eh? It's different. <laughs> Watch that. <clears throat> if you want the, to know about the other stuff, uh, just ask three. <laughs> I guess the kick kick helped him a lot, though. Yeah, yeah, kick re kick really worth its weight in gold now, isn't it? This twenty TV is is making is really nice, really nice. Of course, it would have ended here, back here, a decent amount of the time anyway, but still. Huge pow. Did have to say is that five to get hit? Um I oh mean have to. he chose to. Leave it there, leave it there. He's not going to pile on. If you pile on on the low on the journey man. Yeah, of course you Oh can. my god. Imagine not piling on, there you go, removal, easy. Hi. Who wouldn't pile on? <sighs> I would have put this witch out there though rather than the edge five. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, the H five seems like the guy that should win you the game. Yeah. But then the edge five is more likely to induce a pylon. <laughs> it just a pylon alone. <laughs> yeah. I'm I do not think you're afraid of uh, cyber not piling. <laughs> oh no, no, cl clearly clearly I stand corrected. <laughs> Oh, you're not even watching that. <laughs> Pleb. <laughs> Pleb. <laughs> yeah, I hope... Uh, sorry that a fan doesn't work with ads. <laughs> oh, I mean, oh, Melosius, it's absolutely impossible for imagine uh, Eldrill still being in the game in turn 15. That's something that doesn't happen. Yeah. Is he thinking about some crazy leap over? But he can't do anything even if you do. He's got, he's got strength for. I guess you hope that he fails like. I don't know, you can't do anything. I mean. The only point I see trying to do that risky maneuver is to try to make him do a dodge or something like that, but being a strength for IG4. Even if you put a side step on him, it's not going to achieve much. 
I think the only thing you do it is if you think you can actually win the game by doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Good to good to know. Here. Good to hear you from the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> If this was it's a rookie, a, if this was a rookie, then by all means go for the leap in that. But what yes. the fuck is he going to do if he gets there? Nothing. <laughs> it's like you know, you reach there and then what? Mm. You know, sometimes it's more about the point of going than the act of going. Yeah, I, th I think putting the witch in scoring position is just a bad idea because you just you're just not getting the yeah. of, this, of this guy. Like, like if the, again, the only reason you try to do something like that is if you think you can take it on, but you cannot stop him. Yeah. Taking his time, or it's a pause or something, one of the two. I think it might be a pause. Yeah, it's just. Yes, it's, it's uh, just blitzing. <laughs> oh! No. Oh! What you do? You eat them? I mean, it's mighty blow. That's. Oh. Oh. Uh, that was a tough choice, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a real yeah, tough that choice. That was bad or bad because the problem if you go down, you might even also halfway concede it. Yeah. No point saving, no point saving your rerolls for overtime if you don't get to overtime. <laughs> yep. Oh. It's not been Tempest's uh, game. <laughs> no, it hasn't had good dice. I've seen it's. It's still like you know, really close. It's like it's unbelievable, isn't it? You know, yes, like this yes. is a monster chaos team. Yes, it has uh, been so nearly to get it done, but at the end, you know, having the bad luck that I, I've been run out of metaphors to use. <laughs> <laughs> I did like that this got him in a range that not so like you know not so on the sideline, but then he had to because he had to do this dodge. Like you know he couldn't he didn't. It would have been a parabell screen if he'd stayed there, so he did have to move him in and then hold the edge of that guy. Oh. And now we're blitzing from an angle that's not opening anything. Yeah, that was a terrible blitz from Cyber, wasn't it? Terrible angle. Terrible angle. Yikes. He's you can get the these two, then. is taking a toll, it's been a long game. Mm. He can go there and then he can like double GFI. It's a very easy way to explain it. It was a mistake. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna, you know, uh, Sabinat is gonna come later and try to explain, you know, the reason behind that. It's just a mistake. Mm -hmm. I guess because now it's suddenly three plus with that. With a reroll, but three plus. Now I might think uh, quite heavily about getting a scoring for it. No, wait. Uh, no, no. More no, scoring. No. Yeah, no. I cannot really. He's uh, getting it upfield already. I don't mind that. But it's. But it'd have been a lot way. better if he'd been hitting that one from the right ankle. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he just thought he needed the power and then... Oh, oh he's going... To... Oh, my god! Cheeky 3 plus here. And another 3 plus coming. 
if that's you do it. the first one, you do the second one, right? Mm -hmm. What about this guy? One, two, three, four, five. GFI, no, he can't get anywhere. He's Defending the ball is super easy. But to wrestle, easy, isn't it, man? Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, it's pretty easy to dodge him and get the assist. Now it's uh, here. Yeah, so now it's only a one. -er. Yeah, that's that's quite good, isn't it? So yeah, you can only get a one. -er. Pretty good from Cyberk. <laughs> so you can punch him even, right? Three, four, five, six, and you get these two on and punch him. And then he goes in, and then you've just got a one D on the ball. Oh, I guess this guy could come around. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Not really. I don't see anything better than that. We have to wait and see. Only one two plus PC. You can well because you can block here, right? One in nine rather than a two plus. You can put these two here and then punch him for a push. And he's straight in, and he's a two plus. Oh, we're moving five, three, four. It's still five way, so yeah. And yeah, he's going for the 2D first. Hello? You've got to remember he strike five, the one don't do a 1D by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> that would There's be a big guy going in the screen. Big guy going in the screen. We use drawings here, not like uh, the people that instead of the icons use letters. Uh -huh. You know, it's people that think they're in Sesame Street. <laughs> We're still in the Teletubbies. We are learning the shapes. <laughs> ah, there you go. This is nice. Hey, that's the push. <laughs> More than, more than enough, more than enough, and now... He got it! That's the one day. No! Gets the pow! But he's out of rerolls for overtime! Gets the Kaz! Oh, oh. angry! Only a badly hurt. Channeled his inner dwarf to manage that, and where is the ball? Oh, the... oh, oh, oh. oh just it's still on. It's still on. Yeah. Tackle there, doesn't matter. Oh, feels oh. Like, I mean, this is looking really safe now. So, overtime, but yeah, no rerolls is real bad for the overtime, isn't it? He can open. Uh... That strength five can potentially open for the tackle hit from the side. Yep. Doesn't know. You know that, that was a very random block to start the turn, but okay. Mm. The dark elves have been pretty unlucky. It's crazy, isn't it? Um, yeah, I know he's just been unlucky though. He has any PC, <laughs> you know? Obviously, everyone would choose. The the thing was the the double skulls, right? The double skulls was like a really harsh one because you obviously have to use the reroll on the last turn as well. Like if you have to use it, and I think you had to reroll the double skulls from the witch as well. Just super unlucky the last couple of turns. Could have easily been two rerolls, and Cyber gained one, didn't he? Cyber was down at two because of no, it, not maybe he wasn't, but um. Proper unlucky to uh, he's been unlucky like it's mad that Tempestor has been unlucky this game. It's, uh, it's like he's like this character from the Hanna Barbera, the the wacky races, Dick the Starly. You know that he makes the plan, everything goes to the plan, but in the last moment, he always fails. Mm -hmm. It's been like that. It's been like the what's the name in English? Yeah, wacky, wacky races. 
No, what I mean is, Enzo, it's unbelievable that Tempestol has been unlucky and is still like 1-1 going into overtime in a pretty good situation that he would have taken from the start of the match, right? Like, that's the craziest thing. Uh, yeah, so he got a book scoring for it. Knocks himself out. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. 50-50 is, is like favoured, probably. Even with even with no rerolls, he's still probably favoured if he wins the toss. And he, Just. the chaos are nice to the Dark Elves. They recover two very good pieces, and they are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, the <laughs> that um, chaos warrior, is he coming back now, though? Yes, yes, yes he's coming back. He's, this is the last part, you know, the soundtrack. The epic soundtrack <laughs> is running. Is the... the Delves win! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They did the most skillful part as well. They chose to receive in overtime. Some people, some people don't get to do that with elves. <laughs> some people even try to use bribes. <laughs> oh, something else. <laughs> Maybe chatting <laughs> with their opponent. Yeah. A, a rookie error. A rookie. Being error. nice. Yeah, being nice to other people. <laughs> <laughs> the Soul Runner has been absolutely incredible. It was a, like a Dark Elf team without, I don't know, like a, the Dodgeball movie, you know, the regular Joe's here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess he's been, I guess Cyber's been unlucky, like with the kills, right? Only making three cars um, is is pretty unlucky. Well, not that unlucky, right? And I guess he's been out bashed. Yeah, he's been out bashed here. He's taken two cars. Himself and a KO and a send off. Three, six, nine. He's down to ten players. So yeah, Cyber has been unlucky as well. But it's kind of crazy how like how it's felt that Tempest Soul has been unlucky yeah. and yet is in the driving seat. Like crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's it's a pretty miracle that uh, the dots got a line piece is still in this game. <laughs> yes. Oh, I the commentators' courses are hundred percent real. <laughs> I mean, maybe we don't. Uh, we always get grown who's gonna win. But we always nail who's gonna die. <laughs> yep, yeah, the commentator's curse is real, but uh, no one is more cursed than Eldril. <laughs> that goes beyond anything. <laughs> Not over yet, that's true, but the elves receiving the ball. Yep. No rerolls, but they're a man up. They're unbelievably a man up. Will he forget to bring on the witch elf and leave on a loner journeyman? That would be hilarious, wouldn't it? A loner line. That, that, that could be the, the play of the game. It would be. I'll, I'll laugh if that happens. Oh my god. It could happen. It could happen, yeah. It could happen. <laughs> please. <laughs> when the edge please move, move, that, move that lady into the pitch. <laughs> Who need a downless uh, witch elf when you're playing Blotch against cats? Step. <laughs> Blotch a step jump up uh, downless versus uh, them. Just uh, keep her on the bench, you know, save her for the final. Absolute confidence. <laughs> like the fact he's moving all his men around. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh Come on, Tempesty. Is Tempesul trolling us? <laughs> oh, yeah, he's done oh. it. Oof. He's done it. Oof. He did it. He did it. Oof. And yeah, with him all, like, it's still like he's not that favourite, right? If he had the two rerolls, like, if he had not been unlucky with that drive, he's still got two rerolls and he's big favourite to win. Now he's still got to be favourite. Right? He's starting with the ball and has loads of bludgeon and everything. But yeah, it's obviously no rerolls. Is uh, you know it's, it's very invasion coming now? Blitz or maybe a reroll for the dark elves? Mm. This is live. Yep, in our a riot. Completely irrelevant. <laughs> it, it it should be. <laughs> <laughs> No, Enarion, this is a fantasy. Hey. <laughs> okay. I mean, the IG5 and the Libe, uh, which gives him fantastic chances. But uh, still, uh, crossing that wall of uh, chaos is not an easy task. 
Yeah, and, and yeah. easy just to roll the ones, or, you know, double one in nine with these blocks. One in the sixes, because there's still three tacklers around. There's 11 elves and only 10 chaos. He's actually men up, unbelievably, due to the uh, send off two cars and a KO. Um, Never Knight got tired of killing in the last game in the quarterfinals. You know, he, he lost. He lost the the bloodlust. <laughs> yeah, as lucky as he was against Chunter, he is. Yeah, he has been. Like, they've kind of both been unlucky in a way, haven't they, right? Cyber hasn't killed everything, and, and Tempest Souls had loads of chances to win that haven't worked out. I like blitzing the tackle there, yep. And a well timely uh, armor break. No, I don't. I don't. I disagree. That it's too much for an amazing call. I, I, I didn't. I didn't hit one, but I think the other one should have been like a, a, uh, one of a the, bribe of uh, apple. Instead apple. of that, Merc could be, you know, one of the dead. The well, oh, one uh, apple fail, one apple fail, but the other could be, you know, still alive. He yeah, but you wouldn't alive. have apple him, would you? So he'd still have an apple, but he'd have an apple now instead of a reserve, which is still better, right? You could have he could KO. have used the power apple in one of the chaos. I mean, when the witch got KO'd or the other piece that was very good got KO'd, could have yeah. power apple it. Or could have uh, two babes, yeah. which would have been uh, pretty useful. Yeah. I mean, I don't think you'd have induced an extra reroll, but... Um... No, <laughs> extra reroll is good but the other options are just better yeah. that's the thing and i think extra rolls are very powerful but uh, oh wow there's a these lona this lona though look at him he gets a cast he's getting a spot on the team <laughs> he's made a cast the other one hasn't made a cast but yeah he's made a cast one in nine this <laughs> nope <laughs> but it's one thing is the cast but that's uh Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. It takes um, chaos down to nine, and one yeah. is stunned. Yep, yeah. yeah, they're in a lot. They're in a lot of trouble. It's kind of unbelievable, isn't it? it really is. But what's the odds that Timbersy's gonna roll a, a really badly timed one again? Yeah, we really could. As long as you can get the tackle in the right squares, then uh, it can be really tricky. Yeah, that's no rerolls. You just you need to make a, you need to make the elves roll roll some dice. Yep. Well, how many times have we seen people reduce to zero rerolls and then make every single roll? I mean, exactly. That's often. a true blue ball. You know, when there is a, no space for failure, there is you don't fail. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Scar Dodger again. Is he finally gonna die? <laughs> Not even gonna follow this time, I think. That's the only no, way he can resist the pylon. Nope, he follows. Of course the armor and it's holds. Still there. <laughs> can surely not pile. Surely not. You wouldn't think so, but He's thinking about it, but oh. I don't know. You, you can't. You can't. That's your tackler. You can leave your tackler on the ground just for uh, okay, a hasn't. Phew. Needs to be careful because right now the left side of the pitch, I mean, there is two stand firms, is a little weak. It is a bit threadbare, but I mean, this strength five really cuts off anything there. So I wouldn't mind. Maybe he's trying to hit this guy. And it's tree tree and castle tree, so it's pretty amazing. You could do in Aaron, you could do, then then you will have no adverts. <laughs> and you will get all the lovely emotes. Yep, wonderful, oh, wonderful yes. emotes. Yes. And that's, 
There's quite a lot of them. There and extra them. points, extra channel points. Yeah, millions, millions of emotes. Well, you don't get all of them, but you get most of them. <laughs> I think you go for the. I think you can. Uh, there is a case for going for the stand firm piece on the. Yeah, left. on the left side. Yeah. On the left side, because then you can uh, move. And your wet self can hit do the head so you get four dice. Yes. And you have more than enough, you know, space later and you free one player. Mm. But then you're making the tentacles relevant, aren't you? Which is annoying. It's annoying either way, this is a good defense from Sarah. But the tentacles is already stuck with one elf, so you are forcing him to dodge. Okay. Oh, you go the other way and uh, trust you uh, down the switch off. Yeah, oh, I'll, just... look on, I'll look on this way. Oh, oh just oh, take wow. something Let's in the this. middle. Let's do this. Oh, oh this it's going to be a loner block. Huge payoff this, isn't it? If this, if this is a pal, it's all over. <laughs> oh, he's, uh, he's not been scared of uh, doing those loner blocks. He hasn't, has I he? I mean, yeah. truth to be told, the learners have been more reliable than the stars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This looks over, doesn't it? This guy can tag, and then three pl three players to come through and kind of protect the ball a bit. Holy moly! Holy moly! No, alone it doesn't matter, but blockless matters, right? Yeah, it's the blockless. Yes, yes I mean uh, that's the blockless thing. Yes, once you 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 reroll, your loners are like regular linemans. Yeah. but still blockless linemen. Yeah. It was yes, a blockless yes, block. Yes. <laughs> blockless block, one in nine for the maximum payout. Well, he needed the power because uh, it was just a push. He wasn't uh, as good. Yeah. If there was any justice to the MVP, that loner is getting my MVP. Yeah, 100%. Favorite, favorite of the audience. Mm. Winning the popular vote. <laughs> like, if Tembassy win, he should hire that loner. He, he can't, though, can he? It's the sad reality. Can he not? If he it's wins. A merc. It's a merc. Oh, it's a merc, not a loner. Oh, mm. shit, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, it's true that that's why he's so efficient. Oh. <laughs> it's not a journeyman, it's a merc. Uh, yeah. He walks to go toward the sunset at the end of the game. <laughs> oh, the, then he gets the. Oh no, it wasn't a one. Okay, he was trying to be trying to be a bit. Uh, yeah, I quite like that actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing that four plus two plus to get seal that side completely off if you do it. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty nice. Well, that strength four can get a two D on the ball, can't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But it's not great. Or you can dodge here. One, two, three, four, five. No, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is maybe the one, eight, three, two, two, to hit with tackle. Not great, or is it? Not good at all, no. Oh, you just start to warrior. <laughs> then you haven't got tackle, though, have you? No, if you take the... Got a three, two, two it. Yeah. Surely. Where did it go wrong for the chaos? I mean, getting out bashed didn't help, did it? And uh, that's the biggest thing. Like getting out bashed is kind of crazy. There were a few times where, uh, for example, the uh, pylons yeah, there were make some... things much easier for the elves. Yeah, but then you know, he obviously felt like he had to pile on because he wasn't getting the removals. Wow! Whoa. And Tempest that's it. So that's it. Tempest Soul the reached the final of the CCL Cup. Wow. He has become the final boss. Of season 50, he didn't lie. Wow. It's, it was written there. He was writing their final boss season 50. Wow. Temper saw with that win becomes the second happiest man in CCL. <laughs> <laughs> Singolo rejoicing. <laughs> Singolo could run into the same problem if he doesn't kill them. 
He could, yeah, yeah, the all that blood step, like, you know, it's it's the bare minimum of what you need. It's a great base, base to build upon, isn't it? But it turns out you don't even need all of the sexy stuff because just basing everybody with blood step and not dying is pretty and bloody effective. the witch elf gets the MVP and gets another skill. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Which if yeah. he gets doubles, he's going to be juggernaut. <laughs> Nearly guaranteed. Yeah. Yeah, or a, and it could be a starter. The normal isn't going to look very exciting, is it? But, uh, wrestle. Yeah, wrestle yeah tackle, normal wrestle. Even tackle. Yeah. Wrestle tackle, the, uh, depending on what Singol will have. He does, his, his ball carrier is Blodge, isn't it? Um, Blodge, yeah, Almor 9. Yeah, it's a probably tackle, I guess. Yeah. Right. Well, P PC does like big jugs, don't we all? Right, um, so there you go. Congratulations to Tempest Soul. Commiserations to Cyber Knight. Unbelievable. The other semi final has been played, and it will be Singolo with his dwarves in the final, um, awaiting Tempest Soul. So there you go. What an amazing result. Thank you so much, Core and Fime. Absolutely glorious having you in the booth, as always. It's always a pleasure to be here. And a last uh, mention to our uh, Libyan uh, viewers, or Libyans are living. In another countries, I hope you enjoy this game, which was a really surprising game. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.